Libra, gang, 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 Libra, what's up, G? Welcome to my channel. Am I tripping or not, Tarot? My name is Cockfrost, but you can call me the Ghetto Nun. So, Libra, I'm here to do your March slash general slash love slash bonus reading, my G. I do cuss in my readings and give no fucks about it. So, if you do, please get the fuck on. I do start all of my cards upright in my deck. I don't believe in starting out with reversals because that's some bullshit. Also, I did pre shuffle Libra, but I did not lay any cards down just yet. We're going to do it together. Please keep in mind this may or may not resonate with every single Libra. Get no fit nugs. Info for private readings will be below the video. Please take the time to check out our community board. It's like the farmer's market for all the nuns and high priests where they have their businesses, purposes, gifts, etc., etc. Post it. If you like to submit your business for the bulletin board please check the info in the description box below the video it's currently under construction i forgot to tell virgo that if you find that the convent is not for you please look for the nearest exit mark get the fuck on watch your hand on the way out hit the alley you'll be back in Terraland. thank you to everyone for all the bookings donations likes subscribes comments shares purchases to my website and pledges to my patreon i love you libra somebody is trying to fuck something up libra like like sabotage something I feel like you know this already. You either know this or you know this is coming. Okay? And they're always coming after us. Yes, Libra, they are. That's what I heard. They always coming after us, none. They are. Uh, that's what they say. Libra rules enemies or some shit. Relationships and shit, good and bad. Uh, so yes, Libra, you do know that someone's trying to fuck your shit up. It could be another air sign. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini uh, energy here. Uh, Leo, Cancer. Uh, Libra or you're doing this shit to them I have to be fair and just say it could be the other way Libra okay overall Libra I feel like you happy because of whatever this is going on I feel like you kind of keep it to yourself Virgo had that kind of energy as well but Virgo was being more peer pressure to show themselves I feel like you can't be really peer pressured Libra uh it's telling me you actually may be going into hermit energy, Libra. I think I picked that up for your last reading. Uh, you could already be in hermit energy. I feel like y'all like it, though, or you love it. You like it or you love it, Libra. I don't know. Some of you guys could be having headaches, Libra, migraines or some shit like that, or issues sleeping or someone else is, Libra. In regards to you, it could be, like I said, the Cancer, the Leo, the air sign. It could be a water sign as well. Someone feels high, I don't know, Libra, or happy, or shit, happy when they high. I don't know, Libra, let's see. Something's coming to an end, Libra, okay? Or someone. Some of you guys are leaving someone, Libra. Give me some messages for Libra. Damn, Libra, what kind of shit? Fuck Tardia came out reversed though. Okay, Libra. No wonder I saw get the fuck on for you guys for before you get spit the fuck on while I was shuffling. That's why I knew y'all were leaving something. But now I know. This never comes out reverse, Libra. Ever, G. Okay? This is like I ain't with the bullshit, folks. This is you checking out of the matrix, is what this feels like. This is the world like kind of reversed, Libra. So that kind of is stuck in a cycle if we're gonna say that's the world reverse. But it's fuck Tardia though. It's the matrix. So maybe you could be in Zion right now as far as recuperating Libra. You know what I mean? Getting rest, getting yourself back together from whatever it is you may be dealing with or have dealt with. Give me another one for Libra. <clears throat> let go. Yeah. You just let go. Even though these are Legos. But that's what they said. You let go. Yeah, you separate it. This is separating from a unit, a family, a group, a job. This is like, I could be a lone wolf with you. And that's like, no, then I wouldn't be a fucking lone wolf. Then there'd be two slices, says Libra. No, I'm by myself. A lot of y'all are single, Libra. Uh, something may have uh, deterred you, I heard, from being a part of something, joining something. This is like, I'm cool. <laughs> this is like, I thought I wanted to belong till I got a, you know what I mean? Or I thought I was cool with this shit or rocking with y'all. Or there's somebody else who feels this way about you. And they're cool. They're disconnecting now. Disconnected. Some of y'all are changing your phone number, Libra. Yeah, you like it. I told you. Lay your head on my pillow. Bonk, bonk. Yeah, and just relax, Libra. This is like checking out, Libra. <laughs> okay? 
Some of you guys could just be going on vacation, Libra. But this is like leaving something separate. You could be moving out of the state, out of the city, out of a home. There's something that you're separating from that's toxic and or you already have. And you're uh, getting acclimated to it as far as you're getting used to it. You know what I mean? Like, oh, okay, like I'm sleeping in. I'm sleeping better. I'm feeling there's something. You could have separated from a relationship or a toxic ass job, a city, state, some shit like that. Community, environment. Uh, yeah. Let's see, Libra. Give me uh, one on this Fatardia Matrix Reverse. Why is this here for Libra? Libra at the bottom of the deck with the Six of Cups. Yeah, this is like past shit. Shit from your past. You're tired of it. This could be the same seeing the same shit, Libra. Like, I'm tired of looking at these fucking four walls, says Libra. This fucking job. I'm tired of looking at fucking Mary. I'm tired of looking at fucking David. Okay, this could be this type of shit, Libra. You know how we get sometimes, Libra. Okay? It's like that frustrated ass shit, but it's like where you just are tired, G. Okay? <laughs> Damn, it's not funny, Libra, because I know the feeling all too well, but that's what this is how you know, Libra, Libra, Libra. <laughs> yeah, Libra, you tell me y'all could be inebriated, Libra, like, could just be, you know what I mean, smoking a lot, drinking a lot, but what I was gonna say is, this is how you know when you need a break or a snack, Libra, or some shit like that, okay? When you start acting like that, because usually y'all feel like that, but y'all don't act like that, Libra, when you start acting like that, it's time to lay down, G. You need a nap. Boo ski and talk. A break, a uh, vacation, uh, some loving. Yeah, look, Libra. You like, I can't do it. Some of y'all are moving. Libra. <clears throat> some of y'all damn sure got a back ache. Look at the statue in the back. Some of y'all feel stiff. Like, some of y'all may need a new mattress, a new bed, Libra. Okay. It could be a fire sign stressing your ass the fuck out and you like, I'm fucking Gucci. Some of y'all are leaving people right where they are, Libra. I feel like a lot of people are gonna notice your absence. Someone is realizing your absence here is what this feels like. That's not your energy. So it's like when you move, when you leave, when you separate, unfriend, break up, divorce, whatever, it really leaves. It takes a toll on someone, Libra, basically. Or it's taking a toll on you. <clears throat> Whatever this is, uh, it was conflicting. Whatever this is, Libra, that you're separating from, it was taking a toll on you, your body, possibly your family, children, your home. Like, whatever this is, it was too taxing. It wasn't even on your shit. This definitely could be work. Give me another one for Libra. <clears throat> Four wands. Look at you. Like, I just want to go the fuck home. Some of y'all work day and night. Look at this shit. Working day and night, Libra. Some of y'all, it's a relationship that was just too stressful, okay? Some of you guys are going into a relationship, Libra, because this is leaving Fatardia. Fatardia is reversed. The matrix is reversed. So this is a divine partnership. This is y'all leaving Fatardia, going into a divine partnership. If it's not that, Libra, which a lot of you, because it suggests that you're not, honestly, because this is still being single. It's like, I fucking want to go home, G. I just want to lay down, G. Smell my plug-ins, drink some tea, turn on the fan, you know what I mean? Get in the tub, eat a slice of pizza. Libra, this is like real... I just want to be happy, G. All I really want is to be happy. Yeah, some of y'all are leaving someone, separating from someone, or someone could be separating from someone else. A lot of fire out here, Libra. You could have fire in your chart if you don't or have a lot of fire in your chart. Someone's leaving a toxic-ass relationship here, so maybe this person could be coming to you because this breaks down to fighting and shit. And somebody's like, I'm not a fighter. I'm a motherfucking lover, G. This breaks down to the five of wands with Fatardia reverse. Out of one of these people, somebody feels like I'm not a fighter, I'm a lover. And this relationship, this job, this home is stressing me the fuck out. So I'm out of here. If this is not you, Libra, someone that's maybe wanting to come to you and they're leaving a situation like that. But something's finito, okay? Tower card. It could be a Scorpio, stressed out, all fucked up and shit. Some of y'all are moving to a new home, Libra. Some of y'all are building a home from the ground up, out of the city, out of the state, out of some fucking where shit i heard out of nothing i know that's right libra building something out of nothing libra
some of y'all uh, could be getting into a relationship with an Aries or another air sign, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, or whoever this person is could be leaving a situation with an Aries, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, okay? So somebody could look at you as toxic, Libra, okay? Two. Put some on this uh, separating car. Who is this separating? Yeah, Libra, it's you. you like, I'm out, G. Knight of Swords. Fuck of this. Okay? <laughs> Damn, Libra. That's the energy you have. I know I must separate. I know I must leave this place. This is like finally getting some clarity on something or why someone separated from you, why someone didn't want to become a part of something with you or why, you know, it's something like that. You or someone else, it could be another air sign, like I said, could be getting clarity about why you separated. Shit, it could be like motherfucking you in a toxic ass relationship with a, a ram uh, living in the matrix and that ain't my fizzle says Libra. Libra some of y'all are separating from someone someplace something because you're not aligned with it G spiritually aligned with it or it's not aligned with you and it realizes this somebody sees conflict in some type of situation Libra either you see conflict in that shit or someone else does or someone sees like this gonna be a lot of bullshit or a lot of competition a lot of fucking arguing like and I'm not used to that shit or I am used to that shit but I've removed myself from that so to get back in this shit again with you would be fucking dumb says Libra so I'm out or it says somebody else, shit. Somebody knows exactly what the fuck this is. Someone pegged the situation for exactly what it is, Libra, and got the fuck on, for they got spit the fuck on. Like I told you, he ain't coming, he's a going, okay? He's a leaving, Libra. This is something you don't wanna see. I don't wanna hear that shit. I don't wanna know about that shit. Don't talk to me about that motherfucker. That's what this shit is, Libra. I don't wanna hear that shit. Okay, I don't never want to see that place again is, is what this is, Libra. You leaving somebody right where they are. Them two motherfuckers look happy. But I also feel like someone wants to leave. Whoever this is feeling like this in this relationship wants to leave. And I feel like this person kind of wants to come to you, but I feel like you're gone, Libra. Okay? This somebody who's stressed out because they have to go back home. This car came out after the Ten of Wands. This somebody who may want to come to you, Libra, this Ten of Wands person. But they can't. They got so much burdens and stress and shit that they have to go home. Somebody could be financially burdened here and you could know that. Or you could know somebody got kids or just too weak or stressed out, too overloaded with issues like to even come your way, joint or whatever. And you're like, I already people's going on. There's nothing to talk about. <clears throat> this could be somebody who wants to talk to you, Libra, about some shit that don't change shit, G. That's one of my pet peeves and shit. It's like, what are you, it's, it's like, like you about to get fired, Libra, and I have been many a times, right? And then they call you in the office and shit, and it's like, uh, they're like, do you have anything to say? Like, is anything I'm gonna say help me keep my job? They're like, no. Well, then what the fuck is you? It's like this type of shit. Like, then fucking no. Shit. I, I guess I'm done with the bitch. Like, what you mean do I have anything to say? Is it gonna help? No. So this is like somebody coming to tell you, like, I really love you, Libra, and everything. I'm just really stressed out and everything. It's like, oh, okay, well, how are you fixing this situation? Are you leaving that job, leaving that person? They're like, well, no, I just thought you should know what's going on. Why? Why? It's like, I already know that you can't do it or this is over. It's something like that that's really matter of fact, Libra. And I feel like you don't give a fuck about the other. It's like, who gives a fuck about the, all that bullshit? You know what I mean? It's like fluff. Or some shit. You know exactly what something is. And you ain't got time for that shit. Whatever it is, Libra. It's very stressful. You may have been in this relationship. This could have been you, the Ten of Wands here. And you're like, I gotta get the fuck up out of here. I see where this is going. Yeah. It's something you're not used to, accustomed to. Libra. You know, we got motherfucking needs, shit. Okay? That's why I tell people I ain't cut out for prison and jail. I got certain soaps and exfoliating scrubs and micellar waters. And, you know what I mean? My mattress got to have a, you know what I mean? A certain density. And like, mm, mm That's Libra shit. So this is Libra like, no, my mind got to be right every day. You know what I mean? My appetite can't be fucked up. I can't be stressed out at no job and no relationship. You've been through this already, Libra. You've separated from these situations. This feels like a level you've passed already. And I don't know, someone may have wanted you to join them on a level you've passed already and you got the fuck on. No. Hell no. Yeah, you got your certificate. Like, no, I graduated from that class already, sir or ma'am. Yeah, Libra. Somebody may be kind of behind you in regards to <clears throat> just karmic cycles. Yes, basically, Libra. 
you're separating from a karmic cycle here with that pizza here. You know, you recognize what it is. So you didn't get wrapped up in that shit again is what the fuck this is. Someone may be stressed out about this shit. This could be a divine counterpart, a lover, a family member or somebody. But somebody is not taking it too well that you do not want to be wrapped up in they bullshit. You just don't, G. And you came out as a knight of swords and shit, which means you will cut some. That's why I said when you start feeling like this. Okay, you didn't come out as the king or queen, which will cut and slice and dice your ass too. But the knight of swords will say some old rude fuck ass shit to your ass. You know what I mean? And not give a fuck. Like, it's over anyway. You know, this like you cussing your job out. Like, fuck everybody. Fuck Mary. Fuck David, bitch. I was tired of looking at you face, ho. It's like this type of shit. But you don't want to do that, Libra. So that's why you're like, is there? Is this going to help me save my job? You Us having this closeout meeting? They're like, no, well, then I'm going to leave. Because this gets no better here. I've already been in this karmic cycle where you cuss a motherfucker out. They call security. I get removed. Like, I already know where this is going. So I'm just going to go. That's what this is, Libra. Something you recognize, G, is going to be the detriment of you. So someone could be trying to convince you. Like, no, me and Tatiana, Tatiana are completely broke up. It's me and you, Libra. Or this you doing this to somebody. And something tells you, I just have a feeling that. You know what I mean? This shit ain't over. Even if you did break up with Tatiana, Tatiana, right? I just have a feeling like that cycle's not closed. Like, they haven't burnt up your shit Yeah, You know what I mean? Cry to you, mama. Like, there's a whole lot of cycles you gotta go through before you're ready to fuck with me, says Libra or a cross watcher. It's like some shit like that you know. You know? You ever, like, date somebody and they always talk about their ex and shit? Like, this motherfucker ain't over this motherfucker. I've already talked to someone like that who talked about they bitch the whole night. Like, do you still love that bitch? That's what I want to ask you, sir, right? But you're not going to ask this person that, Libra, because the last person, you already learned that lesson. Like, they still love that bitch, so I don't need to ask them. I can tell. It's like this type of shit, Libra. Like, you're 10 steps ahead of the game, Booski, okay? You really, really are. So this could just be in regards to whoever this is. You know what I mean? Maybe you've learned a lot more life lessons than this person. Some of y'all could have been in, could have been married already. This could be someone who hasn't been married and now they want to get married. And you like, you have no fucking clue what you're even talking about, asking or nothing. You don't even know what marriage entails. This could be some of y'all saying this shit. You know, it's like, I'm cool. Somebody feels wet behind the ears here, Libra. Okay. And you know, whatever this is, where someone's wet behind the ears or you are wet behind the ears, the burden will fall squarely on you, G. To keep the relationship together, the job, the home, the relationship, whatever, okay? It's like, because this person doesn't know the first thing. So this is like somebody who's like, I want to be a father or a mother. You know what I mean? And they ain't never had kids and you got three already. And you like, this motherfucker don't know the first thing about it and shit. You know what I mean? Like, a kid ain't no fucking cabbage patch dog motherfucker. These motherfuckers breathe. You know what I mean? They cry, they bleed and shit. Like, you, do you know what you're asking? Right? Somebody doesn't really know the burden or the task or something. Something looks good on the outside is what this is, Libra. And I feel like you know better, G. You see where something is going or where it could go. Okay? Yeah, it's like y'all ahead of y'all time, Libra, for some of you, for those that are young, for the, the, those of you that are not so young, you just live these cycles already. You know what I mean? Like the Bible says, there's nothing new under the sun, and it really isn't, Libra. <clears throat> it isn't. I feel like that's how you see things. Somebody doesn't know that. They think there's something new. Look at the sun. They think there's something new under the sun. Look where you are, Libra. I know there's nothing new under the sun. Someone may know this in a relationship with another person or someone does not. One person does, one person doesn't. That's why I said some of y'all could have been in this relationship. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, this person think everything just all light and bright and shit. Like, this person is not living in reality. Somebody here could be living in like a fairy tale land of some old crazy ass shit. But I do see y'all moving to a nice place, Libra. If you're moving, it's going to be a hard move for some reason. It could be just because it's just a lot of furniture and you're moving by yourself. Or you're building this up, like, from the ground up. Like, you're actually, like, laying the foundation, the wood planks and all this shit down. Like, you're a contractor, a builder. Or shit, it's just... It's just going to be a hard, maybe you're separating from people, just like, you know, like leaving. Put something here on this stressed out man, the four of wands with fuck tardy or reverse. <clears throat> Concubine putting on makeup. I'll be damned, Libra. 
You done been a concubinian before, haven't we all? Not not even voluntarily, some of y'all. Some of us not, okay? This is like third party energy, I told you. Or somebody like wanting to, yeah. This is like, um, this is giving me Libra like someone wanting to jump into something with you or you wanting to jump into something with somebody and it's short lifts. You know what I mean? It's like eventually like this person, this is like rushing having sex too fast. And then once that fizzles out, somebody goes on to a concubinian, a third party or some shit. But this is like you knowing it. So this is like, I know if we have sex tonight, the first time we meet, right? I know where this is going to go. I may end up separated from, or you going to end up separated from me. We ain't going to talk. I'm end up being mad. Probably want to cuss your ass out because you done found you another concubinian. And I shouldn't have been acting like a concubinian in the first place when I knew that I wanted something like this. You know what I mean? A four one situation. Libra, a lot of y'all are going to be very careful or you need to be about situations that you're well versed, Angie. You can see it. You've been, it's like a reflection of what you've been through already. That's why I said you've seen this whatever. So some of y'all have lived with someone before. And someone may be like, <clears throat> I want us to live together. And you like, hell to the motherfucking no, no, G. Hell to the motherfucking no, no. I done already did that shit. To this person, it's like, but we love each other. We're this, we're that. And it's like, yeah, I used to feel that way too, motherfucker. About the last person I was with. I was a little young, wet behind the ears ass person. Just like you, G. This is you saying this to someone or someone saying this to you like you have no clue what you're asking for. Like, do you know what it's like to see a motherfucker every day, G? Every day. Like, it sound good now. You know what I mean? But shit, wait. Till just a hard day at work and you don't want to be bothering that motherfucker sitting there on your couch. Like, no, it's not cool, G. It's not. This is you saying, like, no, the fact that someone looks at it like this, like, we're in love. We could be this. We could be that. Let you know this person ain't even ready for you Libra or you're not ready for this person a lot of y'all Libra that sounds like you if this is you feeling like this Libra you're very uh young or you haven't had many relationships or you haven't had your heart broken a lot I'm gonna keep it real with you for those that are like feeling this way you know what I mean like everything will be great everything will be peaches and roses and shit nothing is great in peaches and roses Libra with anything okay with anything someone feels like it'd be different in a relationship it'd be different if I were with someone I feel like this is either someone really young Libra or this is someone who hasn't had a lot of relationships or life experiences and you have you have I used to feel that way too like man I want to I lived with somebody for a little while I wasn't even really living but he stayed there long enough shit thank god shit but it'd be shit like where he would shave his beard and shit and them little hairs will be stuck all on the fucking soap and shit. I fucking hated that shit. You know what I mean? But I wasn't thinking about that. I'm like, we're in love. We're in that shit would get on my fucking nerves because I don't like hair on the bottom of my feet. I don't like hair in the bathroom. Like hair, hair irks me, G. In the shower, nothing. So if it's stuck to the fucking soap, it's 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 a problem for me. It stresses me out. I feel yucky. You know what I mean? I don't want to stand. It. You're like, ew. You know? So then this is somebody that somebody who had, who could have the same pet peeve that I have, right? But they don't think about shit like that. And they end up moving in with this motherfucker. And then they learn, like, yeah, people are different. I see I'm just somebody who needs to live alone. I'm not a moving union type of, you know, live together type of person. But somebody may have to go through some life lessons, Libra, to learn that shit. You know what I mean? To understand what it's really like to be in a situation with you, move in. This could be a, a homeowner. This is what it takes to actually build a home, build a business. Somebody could be trying to build a platform. Someone wants to do something like you or be involved with you, Libra, and they don't know the first thing about this shit. Somebody hasn't lived enough life. They could have lived long enough, but they still haven't lived enough. You know what I mean? In order to really join you in something, or this is you. Or another air sign, Aquarius, Gemini. But I feel like the air sign is the motherfucker that know. Like, nah, I'm cool, G. It's a fire sign, Leo, Aries. Well, it could be an air sign that doesn't know. It could with this dove here. That's why I said that earlier. It could be an air sign, but this air sign has a lot of fire in their chart, whoever this air sign is, if that's the case. Or it's a younger air sign, or it's an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius person here. Somebody could be scared to get in a relationship because of these things, Leaper. I said all that to say that too. You know what I mean? Not because of the hairs on the soap and shit, but I'm saying somebody could have been so stressed out in their last relationship or marriage that now somebody like uh, may want to come and be with you, but they scared. Shit. 
You know what I mean? They could be like, shit, I felt this way about somebody before and I was stressed the fuck out with the last person. So I don't know if I really want to go to Libra or Libra, you could feel this way about someone. Some, but even if that's the case, Libra, you know that shit. This is you still knowing why this person isn't here because you didn't have some fucked up shit. It's either two people relate or one person cannot relate to the other, but it ain't two stupid people here for sure. One just knows like what this is and I don't want to like get wrapped up in this shit and end up chastising this person just because they haven't gone through this rite of passage yet, says Libra. You know what I mean? It's like getting mad at a motherfucker who can't drive and they 16, 17 years old or don't know where they're going. You can't get mad at that motherfucker, Libra, and you in your 30s, G. This is like this type of shit. I know they don't know where they're going. They're going to hit the curb. We're going to hit a couple trash cans. They're going to jerk. We're going to stop real hard and all that shit, says you, Libra. You know why? Because you were once a first-time driver. It's the same shit. But this kid is like, no, I can drive. I can do this. I could probably get on the freeway. I could. This is this type of shit. You like, yeah, my fucker. I thought the same thing till I crashed on the freeway. You know, something you guys know, Libra. Okay. <laughs> or someone else knows that someone's not ready for something or not as prepared for something as they think they are, or they don't know them as well as they think they do or some shit like that. You know, someone knows why someone hasn't come to them, Libra, or you know this, or someone else knows why you haven't. Or you know why someone hasn't come to you, excuse me. It's because they're still going through some cycles, some life cycles that you may have already completed, period. Pull on the Nine of Swords here with the separation card. Why is this here for Libra? Leaving a unit. Yeah, some of y'all are moving from a uh, house to an apartment, Libra, or somebody is. Because this is a house. And then this is leaving a unit. So maybe someone's leaving from an apartment to a home, a home to a house, or some shit like that. Now you got embroidery by princess. Yeah, there's somebody who done sold their royal oats already. Told you, Libra. <laughs> like I was too a little princess, <laughs> says Libra. And I had to sell my royal oats. Or this is somebody feeling this way about you, Libra, or a prince. This makes me feel like someone's separating from someone or not dealing with someone, some group, some family, some friends or something, just because they're kind of... They're right where they're supposed to be, they said. Exactly. And you're where you're supposed to be, Libra. You know? But you can't repeat cycles. So it's like, I'm not about to be with someone who's still sewing their royal oats and shit. Meaning they still out there dating around and, you know what I mean? Thinking everything is a joke and shit when I already, number one, lived that way as well. When I thought everything was a joke and slept around, right? Then I got with somebody who treated life like it was a fucking joke and slept around. Like, I'm not doing neither one, says Libra. I've already sold those oats. Uh, so, I, I mean, I have to separate. This feels like a mature decision, Libra. Like a solid decision, decision, excuse me. Yeah, royal garment. Yeah, this is like almost martyr, martyrism is what they're saying. But in a, but for real though, <laughs> but for real though, it's like I'm doing this so this person can enjoy life or really experience what it's like to be whatever it is that they are. You know what I mean? Like I don't want to take that away from that person, says Libra. Or someone else says that because they know someone doesn't understand. Or someone hasn't gone through that. It, this could be an ascension. Like you could be awake. I mean, of course you are Libra, right? But this could be like a, just your spirituality. Like you're on a whole nother level of understanding. You know what I mean? A whole nother level of consciousness and this person isn't. So you see why this person is struggling and going through things and in karmic relationships. And you look at it and it's like, I remember being that motherfucker. I do. So instead of me, you know what I mean? Like chastising or getting upset or getting involved in that shit, even though you may want to Libra in whatever capacity, you don't because you know it takes you backwards. You know someone has to learn. It's like trying to make a flower grow, G. Like when you see that little uh bud like out the beginning of the dirt, right? It didn't really poke up, but you see that? It's like you picking it out with your finger. You know that shit just still is, even if you pick it out the dirt like prematurely, it's still bent like that. You know what I mean? You probably done fucked it up. Let it grow prematurely. Let something happen naturally. Somebody out here just may be young, Libra. This could be somebody who want to argue with you or mad at you and you know why they're mad. It's like when I had to like, you know what I mean? Pick all the fucking hair out the soap. I was mad too. It's just a fucked up ass thing. It's like, I get it. But I'm not willing to have hairs on my soap again and shit. And that's how you cut your beard. So me and you just can't work out. It's just like, and then that's it. You separate. Something's real matter of fact, Libra. Something's very, like, it's like you know who you are. You're not going to question that or, uh, 
redefine or reconsider who you are. Now, there's some things we need to change about ourselves, of course, and we're always a work in progress. But like I said, we got fucking needs and shit. That's what this is. Like, I can't, I need peace of mind. I don't argue and compete and do all that shit. And I can tell you're still into that. You still like that. This still floats your boat. You know what I mean? Or you still like, you still got stamina. Your knees still work good to be chasing motherfuckers up and down the street, says Libra. Mine don't. You know what I mean? So I can't be doing all that. I'm cool, but you should do you because you need to experience that. Somebody could be significantly younger than you, Libra, or just mentally younger. Some shit like that. We got Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius out here. Uh, Yeah, Libra, this is you, the 10. You could be a Libra, Scorpio, Cusper, or you could just be an October Libra. Uh, but it's damn sure you that knows this shit. I told you. Libra, a lot of y'all grew up fast. That's what this is, too. Like, learned a lot of shit on your own. Because this is separated from a group with the Knight of Swords. This you learning shit on your own. Uh, Self-taught. You know what I mean? So you wouldn't know that you... Uh, that it's hard to live with somebody until someone tried to tell you. Like, they tried to tell me. Like, I'm telling you, don't move with that motherfucker. He crazy. Boop, 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 boop. I'm like, no, you don't understand. It's love. This type of shit. Okay? It's like you... uh. Shit, Libra, you got a hard head, Libra. We all do. Hard head make a soft ass. So we all learn the hard way. I feel like a lot of us did. Uh, so you don't want to repeat these lessons. Like they say, karma is harder for a Libra. It really, really is. That wasn't even the worst of the situation. That motherfucker put a cigar out on my face. It got worse than just the, the soap. The hair and the soap was the best shit that I could have asked for. That motherfucker was nuts, okay? But it's this type of shit, Libra. You know, but it didn't seem like that in the beginning. You feel like, or someone feels this way about you. Like something, maybe, you, somebody may be looking at something real fantasy-like. You know what I mean? And that's not realistic and shit, is what this is. Mm. Someone may be <clears throat> looking for you, Libra. You are a challenge to someone. Whoever this is, you're a challenge to this person. Could be a water sign as well. This person uh, is like determined, stressed out about this connection with you. But I feel like you know something about this relationship or where this would go or the future of something that someone else doesn't know. Some of y'all could be psychic, Libra. Shit, I don't know. Or you just don't want to live in the matrix. Remember, that shit's reversed. No fucking thank you, G. I'm cool on that shit. Yep, I said a water sign. <laughs> yeah, they call him Flipper, Flipper, faster than lightning. It's exactly what I said, Flipper. Yeah, we loving each other today till you putting fucking black and mouths out on my motherfucking face tomorrow. Okay, it's this type of shit. Some of y'all could have seen a temper in someone or you see someone's emotional Libra or you see someone can get like uh, weighed down in their emotions, make bad decisions or someone when things get too hard for someone, they have a tendency to cheat, lie. There's something you know or back down, back out. There's something you see in someone and it's only because you've been this person before and or you've been with someone or been in this situation before. This is a... Uh, Dolphins have like a telepathic communication and shit. They have like sonar where they know what the other is thinking. So, you know, like it's what I said, you know why this person will feel this way about you or you feel this or someone knows why you feel this way about them. Yeah, it's emotion and shit. This could be someone totally driven off of emotion. Libra, you know how emotion, you know, we ain't really emotional people, G. Not like that. You know what I mean? We have gotten into our emotions before, but you quickly realize real quick when shit get off balance, Libra, that this ain't for you. That's why a lot of us get in love and relationships and be like, I don't know. Well, you be wanting love, Libra. If you ever notice you want love and then when you get it, you be like, I don't know, T. You know what I mean? Like, it's not what I thought. Yeah, because it was driven by emotion and that shit died real quick with a fucking Libra. So that's why Librans know that they need to be sure. Knight of Swords. You need to be sure you sold all your royal oats, Libra, and everything. And the person you end up with or the job you work, make sure all the bullshit is by the wayside. Because I feel like uh, some something about some emotions die out and reality sets in, Libra, okay? And someone notices this about someone. That they're still driven by emotion and not by like what it like, like what it really is. Like this the matrix, motherfucker. Everybody feel good here. What about when we have to go to Zion and wear potato cloths and shit and, and eat crust of bread and water? Meaning what if we fall on hard times, we fight? You know what I mean? Shit gets bad and shit. Are you still gonna be feeling like this, Mr. Tummus and shit? And one, you know what I mean? Skipping down and all this other shit? Or are you gonna go find you a concubinian? 
You know, I feel like y'all see that someone's really not stable in their in their emotions for you, Libra, or you or someone sees this in you. They may feel this way right now, but it's not this way forever. You know what I mean? It's like right now, but not now to the end of time. I feel like you see this about someone or someplace. This could be a job. You know what I mean? Where you like, mm -mm, I could tell I ain't gonna like nobody in this motherfucker. I can already tell. You know what I mean? As opposed to you just taking the job because it's good money and all this. It's like y'all want more out of shit these days. Like the money, cool shit, but peace of mind. Is this shit close to home? Traffic? Like we, uh, you know what I mean? We looking into all type of things these days. You know what I mean? Even in a relationship. Like that sounds good and all, but do you want to live in an apartment forever? What about children? What about your past relationships? How do they feel about you? Are they still stalking? Does anybody still want to be with you? Are you still wanting to be? It's like this type of shit, but I don't even feel like you have to ask that. I feel like you saw it. Or you don't even need to. It's like something you just know, G. You've sold your royal oats already. That's what they keep saying. You've been through these rites of passage. So someone, Leaper, that wants to connect with you or you want to connect with have not been through all these rites of passage that you've been through. And I feel like you, uh, whoever the mature one is here, they're going to like bow out gracefully because they know. And I, I respect this person too. Uh, that's letting somebody live. You know what I mean? Like, shit, I ain't about to... It's like almost like... Whoever this is that's in their emotions can be manipulated, Libra, you know? So it's like you could take advantage of this person. I don't say that with, like, good, you know what I mean? Like, any type of, uh, like, you should be doing that. What I'm saying is, is as far as, like, uh, someone would take advantage of this person. So this will be somebody like, I think we should live together. I'll take care of you, the bills and all that. And somebody who knows, you know what I mean? Like, this little motherfucker naive and just think they in love will take advantage of this person. Like, sure. We're moving together. Like, they just know, like, boom, got them and shit. Like, you know what I mean? I could tell they already in love. This is somebody who can read somebody, Libra. Like, I could tell this motherfucker in love already. Boom, boom, boom. I can get them. I can do this. I can do that. Some of y'all have a heart, Libra, is what this is. So you don't do that to people. It's almost like I could tell this person don't know no better. You know what I mean? I could tell this person still wrapped up with the wrong people, the wrong crowd and everything. It's like, so I'm going to just let them do them. Because it'll bring me down. This obviously is somebody you feel like you can't get through to, Libra, anyway. You know what I mean? Just like they couldn't get through to your ass and you did what you wanted to, so is whoever this is. Or this is you. You know what I mean? So it's like I'm not about to waste my breath, fight, argue, go back and forth with a motherfucker about why they should and why we should. And none of that shit. They got to learn, Laverne, just like I did, says Libra. And you out. Shit, basically. Shit, I like it. Are somebody out. Anyway, Libra, that's been your reading. Like I said, it may or may not have resonated with every single Libra. Still, thank you for visiting my channel, my trip or not tarot. My name is Cockfrost, but you can call me the ghetto nun. Please hit like, subscribe, share with your friends. Again, info for private readings will be below the video. You can purchase your DU gear and your tune-in deck at theghetto nun.com. And I will talk to you later. Love you, bye.